Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Shanky diagram in only 5 minutes. Very easy and simple way, so let's get started. So in order to make this Shanky diagram, so there's a lot of questions and I've made the Shanky diagrams uh, previously as well. I showed, made a video in which we used Excel to make a Shanky diagram. It was actually a bit difficult method. But uh, still, it was one of the ways uh, until I found this method. So this method, this website was recommended to me by someone from my Facebook. So I started, uh, I thought to make a video on this. Very easy and simple way. But in order to make the video on this, we have to go to the website first, which is ShankyMate. So I'm just going to switch to the website first. Okay. So uh, shankymatic.com, uh, S-A-N-K-U-I, just you can look at the web address from here and you can see how does it uh, looks like or where you can find it. So if you just uh, type in shankymatic here, uh, we can simply find it by the first link that pops up here, which is shankymatic. And now this window pops up. You can just click on try it and it's easier to go like this. So uh, sorry for the ads. Uh, there's uh, Google ads coming in, so don't worry about it. So this might look, uh, this input section might look a bit overwhelming. So I found a way in which you can easily do it in very easy, easy way to, uh, uh, which is much simpler and much easier to navigate. There are different options here, which is labels, nodes, uh, flows. So if you're talking about labels, the so labels are these things uh, that are coming to on top of the nodes here. So these uh, rectangular boxes are the nodes here. These lines are called the flows. And these are the target value, source and target value. So wage is a source and budget is a target value. So there are different options in which you can customize it. If you see that currently the wages are 1500, if you change this to 150, the value will become much smaller. But if you make it a bigger value, it will, the rest of the values will become much smaller. So I found a way in order to make this diagram very easy and much simpler. So. In order to do that, very simple. I took some sample data from another website for Flourish uh, for Sankey diagrams. So the data was taken from the Flourish. Flourish is also one of the videos that I made in my channel. If you haven't watched it, please go and check it out. So in order to make a Sankey diagram, I'm going to show you some sample data. So the sample data over here shows a source and a destination. So sources, let's say solar, a destination is electricity generation. So solar is generating electricity and goes to electricity generation and it's given by a value which is 0 0.48. So if you look at this input window in the Shanky Matic, it shows, okay, wages and then a bracket, 1500, then a bracket and then budget. So that means it shows the source and it shows the uh, ending point and then it shows the uh, value of that uh, wages to the budget in form of a bracket. So what we can do is we can do the same thing in Excel and make our uh, make our life much easier. So I'm going to remove all this and delete it. And before I do that, I'm going to increase the width of my uh, screen or width of my uh, Shanky. So I'm gonna do it something like this. So I've already made a Shanky before. I'm just gonna copy the steps from there, or maybe not the same steps. So I guess uh, we'll just stick with this one. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that you can see in a better way how a Shanky diagram looks like. So this is our current work area. Now, I have a data that represents a Shanky diagram and it's it can be seen over here. So it has a source and it has a destination and it has a value to it. Now, what we can do is we can just simply add a formula here. If you are not following what I'm doing, you can slow down the video or maybe pause it and see what I wrote in the formula so that you can easily copy that and put it in that window in the Shanky Matic. So you press an equal sign and you select this one, which is A2. And then you press and shift and seven and then you have these inverted commas as a bracket and then you put a space and then you put an opening bracket and then you close those uh, inverted commas then you put an another and and what you do is you now put the you now put the value here and then you put an another and here and then another bracket here you put a closing bracket here you put a closing bracket here, put a space, and then a comma, inverted commas, and and, and then the destination value. So now what happens here, you can see that this will actually make the same thing that we that we saw in the Shanky Matic. I undo this one. Let's say if I start simple, let's say start simple, or maybe uh, the same thing, budget one. You see that this is a source, this is a destination, this is the value, okay? Now we did just the same thing source 
value and the destination. Now we're going to replicate this thing for the whole cell. Now if you see this one, it's now replicated. Now the another thing that we want to do is like we want to customize the colors for these ones. So in order to do the customization of the colors, what we can do is we can just simply find a way that we can select the destinations here, copy them and paste them here. Now what you can do is you can go to the data tab and you can do the duplicate cells or maybe duplicate values. So once you select on this one and then it says okay 35 duplicate values file. So now what happens with this one is that this gives you broad categories of the nodes that in which the sources are going to fall. So what you can do is uh, you can use these ones and you can assign some colors to these. So in order to make your work easier I'm going to show you another trick. Copy this and then go to Shankymatic or go to ChatGPT right here. Suggest me colors uh, for the following categories based on their names. So I'm going to put it this one. And now it's, he's going to provide me something like this. Now we need color codes. Uh, we can add another prompt which is provide color codes as well as make it Excel friendly. So I'm making it Excel friendly so I can easily copy into Excel. So now if you see that it's going to go provide a hex code and then it's going to do something like this. Now I want it in a table. Make it Excel friendly so that we can easily copy it and we can put it into Excel. So when I want you to do it Excel friendly, it will uh, just do the same things. Never mind. let's say make it in a table. Now let's see what it does. So once it makes it in a table, it's much easier. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these ones and I'm gonna go back to Excel. I'm gonna paste this here. Let's say I'm just gonna overwrite these ones. So once you see this is overwrite it, now what we can do is like we can use these as colors. So now if you go back to Shankymatic, there's another option what you can do is now just ignore this part. You don't have to worry. We already have done this part in Excel. It's much easier. We're just going to copy and paste it. Now it says that you can set a node color like this. Like let's say you can add a colon here. You can add the name of the node and then you can add the color code here. So what happens here is if I zoom into this one, this is just a small colon and this is the name of the node and then this is actually the color code that, that is being used. Okay, so now we're going to follow the same steps. Okay, we're going back to Excel. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to write here inputs for nodes. We're going to do the same thing that we did here for the shanky mate input. Now just enter this one, put a inverted commas, put a colon, close it, put an and sign. Now which node you're talking about? You're not talking about this node and then put an and sign then in inverted commas put some spaces inverted commas closed and sign and then give the color code now you have the sources and you have the color codes now so now this thing is done now let's just copy this one control shift and down arrow it will select all the cells in that region copy that go to shankymatic and then i'm going to replace this one with the data input that we had now if you see what we did, we just did it in a minute instead of doing it manually. We did it much faster and much easier. And thanks to Shanky Medic Diagrams, that is much easier to do it. This video isn't sponsored. This is just the thing that I want to show you a trick this, which is much simpler and faster and makes life easy. Now we're going to adjust this one. It just doesn't look much better in this case. Okay. So we're going to increase its width maybe to a thousand. Uh, and then we are going to adjust its height to maybe 400. Or let's just make it 500. So once we are done with this one, you see that they're different colors, okay? You can adjust this one by simply selecting them, dragging and uh, moving them here and there. Uh, we will adjust this one just in a moment uh, before that. I'm just going to show you something uh, that we just did for the nodes colors. So if you see that, you can select them and you can move it down. Make sure th there is enough space for them to breathe so that there is uh, a good visibility for each and everything, okay? So instead of uh, increasing the height, uh, width we're just gonna uh, keep the width to a thousand and then make it uh, maybe 600 so that it looks much better so now if you see that the node colors are a different color let's say nuclear has a pink color uh, we said that we were talking about electricity generation residential commercial and industrial part we're gonna give them a different color now so what we did here we made a prompt which will assign different colors to these ones now copy them go back to shanky Matic, go to the bottom of these lines if you want to add some comments, just double black slash and you can write, okay, these are where you can change the color for the nodes. Now, this is not going to affect the chart, okay? But if you remove these 
backslashes it is going to create a problem which you can see it doesn't match the flow of a node or a string now just add these double backslashes and now you're going to paste those ones now if you noticed we have a different color here and these are automatically uh, uh, selected for these cells you can change these colors automatically you can change these colors manually the whichever way you want just go to a website called colors once you open the website called colors you will have different color options that, that are available okay uh, let's say we are exploring uh, trending palettes and whatever color is available let's say take an example we're talking about uh, electricity generation uh, let's say we want uh, a golden color for electricity generation I'm going to copy this one so once it's copied I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna paste it here so once I paste it here you will see that electricity generation now has a different color okay so this is how it's done now what if we want to change a different color for the lines let's say we want our, our electricity generation lines to have a different color so all you can do is wherever you see electricity generation you can put stuff like this so once you see this one, it is not visible because there is not much to uh, see here. But if you do it like this, then you can see, okay, electricity generation has a different color now. This is something that you can do in Excel as well. For that, you need to have something else. For instance, you have something like this here. What you can do is, uh, you can have a simple step. Okay, you can say that equal to we look up. You want to look up this value from here this array you can fix it which is simply by pressing F4 and then uh, F4 on this one as well and then you want to look the column index number 3 and you want to say that match the exact values and now you close it you can't see the values here because the color is white now I'm gonna change the color to black so that you can easily see now you see that for every destination it will have a different color now so once you select this one, it will show automatically everything. So now, what if instead of doing the node colors, what if we do the flow colors? How will it look like? So I'm going to revise this by adding this line as well. Or you can just do it like this. Equals to select this cell and inverted commas space inverted commas closed and and you can select this one. Now this one is also not in white, so you can just select this one like this and then you can do like this and give a name that second input for shank now I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to remove all this including the color for the nodes as well select all and paste it here now see how the colors look like but in this step we want to make sure that it's not using the color for the outermost nodes it's using the color for each flow source so whatever the source color is going to use that color or each flows target but let me see if it's working or not it is actually working let's just see any color maybe let's just choose this one copy this one and paste it here so they have a different color now and then once you go here it will have a different color so in order to see that if your um, set changes are making any difference or not you can just simply do it one by one just to test it whether or not they're working fine or not for instance I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it here into energy sources let's see if the color changes or not so the color is not changing because there is a setting down here which says each flows source or each flows target okay so now if you see that I have selected that uh, each of the energy source should have this color which is uh, this one and now you see that wherever there is an energy source is going to change it to different color so I hope you guys like this video and hope you guys uh, had a good understanding other ways is that you can just uh, ignore this one you can remove this simply you can remove this one as well and you can use the colors that are available in the tableau or in the different options uh, category options that it uh, is providing so once if you click choose the dark colors you can change the colors by simply clicking here and choose the ones that you like and then one last thing that I will say is that you can adjust the height uh, wherever you want make sure you are having a you having a uh, like a flat bottom uh, from here and then maybe you can change something on the top and then something like this and then you can make it like this and then you can adjust this one here you can move this one from here to here you can move this one from here to here and then something like this 
So this one actually gives you a lot of space. And then once you're done, you can just simply click uh, plus more. You will have different options. Get a link, get a PNG, large files, small files, or SV, SVG files. It's simpler and easier to use. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any comments or questions or queries, please leave your comment down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, do watch them. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe my channel. It helps the channel grow uh, and reach out to a better community. Till then, take care. Allah.